Yes guys today let's have a look at top 6 skill move combos you use and surprise your opponent, so let's straight away jump to the first one. The first combo is the ball roll into reverse step over, this combo looks classy and super cool when performed. The skill move consists of two basic skills, the ball roll and the reverse step over, when combined together they are super effective. To perform this skill move you only need a 2 star rated player and above up to 5 stars. We all know how to perform the ball roll where you just hold the right stick analog 90 degrees away from your player. And that reverse step over, where you roll the right stick analog from any side of your player, for example from left, roll that analog towards in front point of your player. And so when performing the combination of these two skill, you first perform the ball roll by holding the right stick analog to any direction you want. Instead of releasing the analog at that point, you keep hold of it and continue rolling it towards in front direction of your player according to the direction he's facing. The main point when performing this skill, you need some space in front because this skill is somehow boosty, normally performed on wing side to increase the sprint speed of your player. Lastly about this combo, it has that surprise effect, since the skill move is rarely used, some opponents don't even expect it, so when you pull it out you surprise your opponent. Our next combo is the half drag back into a normal elastico or a reverse elastico, the old school combination, if you didn't play FIFA 18 or 19 you can't rate this skill move combo. It's rarely used but up to now it's effective and if you perform it at a right time, you can break the opponent and score. To perform the skill move combination first of all you need a 5 star skill rated player. The half drag back animation comes from drag back skill move, where you hold both the R1 and L1, then hold the left analog to the opposite direction of your player, hold it until your player finishes the animation, then the half drag back you don't hold the left analog to the opposite direction, but you just flick it to the player's opposite direction, holding the analog you do it for some 2 to 3 seconds and even more, but flicking the analog it's just 1 and half second. So that's how you perform the half drag back, then after that half drag back animation, you immediately perform elastico move of your choice according to the situation. The normal elastico you roll the right stick analog from the dominant side of the player, his strong foot, through his back, towards his non-dominant side, his weak foot, and that's how the normal elastico is performed. The reverse elastico you roll the right stick analog from the non-dominant side of the player, his weak foot, through his back, then to his dominant foot side, his strong foot. A quick guide on how to choose the right type of elastico in a right position and benefit from it, you need to vision and imagine which skill move will your player perform towards the opponent's goal, don't choose one that will lead you away from the opponent's goal. So to understand it very well let's have two in-game examples, here I pass inside the box towards my striker Mbappe, a 5 star skilled player, control the ball and perform the scoop turn to try and beat the opponent's defender, but the opponent is defending well at this point. I perform the half drag back, normally a lot of players will expect you to perform the full animation of the drag back by going to the opposite direction of that player, but the half drag back is to just mislead the opponent into thinking that you're performing the full drag back, as you see his reaction, he was ready to read that move. So at this point, I should choose the right elastico type that if my player performs it, he will move towards the opponent's goal. The reverse elastico at this moment is not recommended because the player will perform it in this movement away from the opponent's goal, but the normal elastico my player will perform it in this movement towards the opponent's goal. And so I pull out the combo and beat the opponent's defender and even score. The last example, I pass the ball to my striker Mbappe and take a direct first touch, I perform the half drag back as usual to mislead the opponent, and what I wanted he's falling for it, now at this point I need to choose the elastico type that will lead my player towards the opponent's goal, the normal elastico my player will perform it in this movement style, and he will be moving away from the goal. Then the reverse elastico my player has to perform it in this movement style, and he will be moving towards the opponent's goal, I perform the skill move to complete the combo and score. The Magidi cancel, one of the pro hardest skill move to perform, but you can perform it if you put in some practice. This combo consists of the Magidi spin a 5 star move, and the cancel trigger. First of all to perform this skill move you need a 5 star rated player in the likes of Junior, Perform the Magidi spin where you flick the right stick analog in front of that player, then to either his left side or right side, 
it all depends on what you want. Then the combination you first perform the Magidi spin, and when your player begins the animation, that's the point you trigger the cancel command by pressing both the L2 and R2, at the same time pointing the left stick analog towards the direction you want your player to move to. This skill move is mainly used to open up that space, since it's sometimes performed in tight spaces, you can pull it out just to open up space, this also opens up other options like passes and shooting angles. It also has that surprise effect, it's rarely used because a lot of players face challenges while trying to perform this skill move. One of the most used skill move combo, the stand still normal elastico, not because it's easy to perform, but its effect is mind blowing, especially when you perform it inside the box to break the opponent and score. The skill move consists of one basic trick, the stand still trick, and also the elastico a 5 star skill. To perform this skill move you need a 5 star rated player, then first stop the ball movements by making your player to stand still, and to do this you either perform the fake shot, don't press anything else, just circle an X on your controller, and your player will stop the ball and face towards the opponent's goal. Another way to stop the ball you just tap the L1 and don't press anything else on your controller, your player will stop the ball and still face the opponent's goal. And to pull out the combo you need to first learn how to perform the normal elastico, where you roll the right stick analog from the dominant foot of your player, through his back, towards his non-dominant foot, and that's how the normal elastico is performed. And the combo is very easy to pull out after understanding how to perform the elastico. You just stop the ball by either two ways we have looked at, then immediately perform the elastico. This skill move combination is hard to defend, because of the flashy effect of the animation, it gives less time for the opponent to react. Normally the skill move is performed inside the box to open up shooting angles, and it's one of the best skill moves used to beat defenders, it's very hard for the opponent to react and stop. Next is the stand still reverse elastico, if I'm not mistaken, but this is the most used skill move combination in the game, still it's not about how to perform it, but the effectiveness of the combination is super good. The skill also consists of a stand still trick, and the reverse elastico, a 5 star skill move, to perform this skill move you make your player stop the ball by either performing the fake shot without pressing any other button, or tapping the L1. To perform the reverse elastico you roll the right stick analog from a non-dominant foot of your player, through his back, then to his dominant foot. After understanding how to perform both moves then it should be easy for you to perform the combination. You stop the ball, and then pull out the reverse elastico. The skill move combination is flashy in nature and it's very difficult to defend, to defend the move the opponent has to first anticipate it. The skill move opens up that shooting space inside the box, as some opponents tend to over-contain and remain patient with their defense behaviors, perform the skill and open up that space and score. The skill beats the defender very easily, especially inside the box and punish the opponent for poor defending. Lastly is the ball roll into scoop turn, another kind of hardest skill move combination to pull out, and this needs a fast finger coordination in order for you to successfully pull it out. It consists of two skill moves, the ball roll the two star skill move, and the moving scoop turn, a five star skill move. And so to perform the skill move combination you need a five star skilled player. First perform the ball roll, and when your player is stepping on the ball to roll it, that's when you perform the scoop turn by pressing circle, then X on your controller, it's a fast pressing motion of the two buttons. One of the best skill move combination used to beat the opponent's defender in almost any situation, because it's animation and execution, it's hard for the defender to tackle your player, and so the skill move is hard to stop, unless you anticipate your opponent performing it and react quick enough. It also has that misleading effect, because of that ball roll move, some opponents will think that you're moving backwards or turning to another direction, but on their surprise you pull out the scoop turn and leave that defender behind. So guys that's it for today, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, thanks for watching.